Okay, so let's talk about for a moment um, some of the campaigns you've done as activists. Some of them have worked out, some have not. Uh, Chipotle has seems to have worked out, but you did a couple that were difficult ones, or Herbalife or Valiant. Uh, they didn't work out. What would you say is the mistake you made in hindsight and that you would try to avoid in the future? Sure. So there's sort of eight principles that have driven our investment success. And when we have veered from those eight principles, uh, we've lost money. And uh, after the uh, 2000, we went through a very difficult period, circa 2015, 2016, the two investments you mentioned were big drivers of that. It was, uh, you know, if you will, experiences making mistakes and learning from them. And it was a moment of reflection for the firm. And I went back to the core principles that have driven our success for the first 12 years. And I had a member of the investment team literally engrave them in a stone tablet, not dissimilar from Moses' Ten Commandments. And I had that stone tablet put in a, what you might call a deal toy, it sits on everyone's desk in the office. And uh, we've adhered to those principles you know, ever since. And you know, we've been fortunate uh, to return to you know, the success we had for the first uh, dozen years. So I think it's about keeping to, you know, our, our principles are basically, we want to invest in simple, predictable, free cash flow generative dominant companies with large barriers to entry that are in high returns on capital, that have limited exposure to extrinsic risk we can't control, strong balance sheets, don't need access to capital to survive, have excellent management, good governance. Sounds logical, um, but you know, occasionally we've diverged and there's uh, those times, you know, there's a certain discipline that comes with investments and there always seems to be a countervailing quality that caused us to diverge. Uh, but in really each case where we've compromised on business quality or complexity, we've been harmed from an investment standpoint. 